is a CBS News special report. I'm Nora O'Donnell in Washington. President Trump is, quote, still not on a clear path to a full recovery as he undergoes aggressive and experimental treatment for coronavirus at Walter Reed National Military Medical Center. A high-level source familiar with the president's health is warning the next 48 hours will be critical. He is not out of danger. Today, the president's doctor said he no longer has a fever and is doing very well, but there are still questions tonight about the severity of his illness. CBS's Paula Reed covers the White House for us. And Paula, what do we know about the president's condition at this hour? Nora, a senior administration official says the president's vitals over the past 24 hours have been very concerning. And CBS News has learned that the president was given oxygen here at the White House before he was transported to Walter Reed. Today, his physician would not comment on whether daily tests show any indication of lung damage. Now, his doctor also suggested that the president was diagnosed before traveling to attend several campaign events on Wednesday. He later issued a letter, though, saying that he misspoke. So as the White House tries to reassure Americans and clear up details about the president's diagnosis and the timeline for when he tested positive, it appears that their efforts have only prompted confusion and more questions. Nora. Paula Reed, thank you. Our coverage continues right now on CBSN and later on your local news. And for those of you in the West, tonight on a special edition of the CBS Evening News. This has been a CBS News special report. I'm Nora O'Donnell, CBS News, Washington.